Hello all and welcome to the second instalment of um, our basic how to make pasta videos. Um, so this is in conjunction with my ebook that's just been released, uh, How to Make Your Own Pasta, which is a series of books that I've, I've now developed. So here we did Samola with water earlier. This one here is Doppio Zero. This is our double zero um, flour, which is a plain flour, but this is a pasta flour that can be used to make pizza, bread, cakes, biscotti, you name it, it makes it all. You know, so if you buy plain flour at the minute, you know, use what you have, then I would definitely suggest that you just keep double zero flour in your cupboard so that you can always make pasta, bread and pizza and everything that you need to. Now, double zero flour is milled in the uh, in the north of Italy, okay? And because it's rich and it's opulent, they normally add eggs to their dough. So this pasta dough here is perfect for your lasagna sheets, your egg tagliatelli, your ravioli, um, anything that's filled, your um, your mezzaluna pasta, your tortellini in brodo, all of these beautiful, beautiful pasta dishes. Okay, so it's the same concept here, where we have 100 grams of flour per portion of pasta. As earlier we used water, here we use large eggs, okay? So one large egg per 100 grams of flour, okay? If you haven't got enough eggs, you can use one egg and then top the rest up um, with milk if you want. What you're looking for is your egg, okay, is approximately 65 grams-ish um, shelled egg um, in liquid. Hence, I would stipulate large eggs. So if you only use medium eggs, you can top up with a little bit of water if needed, okay? So here we've made a well in the centre, our double zero flowers around, and then I'm using my fingers, because it's how I like to teach and cook, okay? And I'm making it lovely and light in the centre. And then, as I did with the sermola, I'm then gonna come around, okay? And I'm gonna start bringing in the flour with the egg and ideally what you're looking for okay is a thickening in the center so your eggs will become nice and thick okay just like so so if you've got um if you've got fresh eggs you know if you have chickens at home then your pasta will be oh my gosh glorious in color okay and when it comes to pasta i always say if you can you know if you buy the best eggs you can afford okay because it will just make it fantastic in color okay so here, as you can see, I'm trying to use one hand at the moment, okay, and I'm trying to incorporate as much of the liquid as I possibly can, okay, and I've broken the well now. So you can see I've still only got one hand in there, okay, so I'm just kind of loosening up any of the wet egginess on the base before I kind of commit both hands to the board, okay. So there's my mixture. So now I'm just going to take off some of the eggy residue from my fingers like so, okay? And then I'm gonna use my, my dough scraper just to help initially, we're gonna get the dough, ball of dough into a nice structured amount, okay? And then again, like we said earlier on, there's no salt in this dough. However, if you wanted to, you absolutely can add salt. Okay, it's just a pinch. Because as I mentioned earlier, you know, it's important to add your salt, your dressings, your sauces, and obviously more important than anything is your pasta water. Okay, so my dough is now in a nice big ball. Okay, so. A few things that I'm always asked, you know, my dough doesn't come out right, and students will always say, oh, you know, it doesn't kind of work, Camilla. Well, you can see there, okay, I'm stopping. And what's important now is I'm gonna scrape away excess from my fingers that I've been working with. Okay, so if you wanted to, you can try and put this back into your pasta dough. Alternatively, if you have chickens, um, you can scrape this all away, okay, and this can go to the chickens, but, what I'm showing you now, okay, is that you need to work on a clean board, okay, because we need to make this dough soft and pliable, okay, we need to take any loose flour away, it will fall off, and we need to make the egg now really bind with the flour so that we can work the dough, okay, and we can stretch the gluten, okay, 
because the more that you work it at this stage, the softer and more pliable your dough will be a little bit later, okay? So I scraped away all my excess flour. Um, when I teach, I normally sieve that and we reuse it, okay? Um, what I'm showing you now is a different technique, right? As I'm kneading, okay, as I knead, I go forward and then I use this hand to fold the dough in half, okay? So it's a formula that you, you pull and then you fold. It's just how I like to fold egg dough. Don't ask me why, no idea. It's just kind of quite a comfortable, kind of comfortable roll, okay? Alternatively, we can start on the left and you can start kneading as we did the samuel dough, okay? And bring it back. This is a really good technique as well. Now, I will also mention, okay, to never be put off by making pasta by hand, okay? Because if you've got arthritis, if you don't like mess, um, if you think I just haven't got the time, then by all means use a food processor. It's exactly the same technique. You throw it all into a food processor, blitz it for one minute and then knead it for a couple of minutes um, and it will take away a lot of the work, okay? So don't don't think that you uh, you have to do it this way, not at all. Now, I do prefer to work on wood because even though the boards are food safe, there is a slight ruggedness to it. So as you're kneading, it really does help. Okay, so I'm gonna to continue to knead, like so. And I can feel now my dough is completely changing, okay? And it's imperative that you really work the dough. Otherwise, if you don't work it enough at this stage, you rest it, okay? When you come to pass it through your pasta machine, the machine will tear, okay? And we don't want that. It's important to rest and work now in order for us to then obviously be able to use the pasta machine or alternatively a rolling pin or a wine bottle or the broom handles. Okay, so however you wish to, to carry on. But as you can see, I'm just kneading, okay? This will probably take another six minutes or so. But I'm gonna stop shortly just to show you, okay? I'm kneading and kneading. And then again, as we did earlier on, we need to allow the pasta dough to rest. At room temperature is fine, okay? Because if it goes into the fridge, it will go hard. Um, and there's no need, there's no need for it to go into the fridge because there's no fat in our dough. There's no oil, there's no butter, okay? Keep kneading, like so. And then we pull it into a lovely ball of dough. As you can see here, there's our egg dough, okay? So as you press, there's a beautiful amount of movement, okay? And then again with this dough here, pop it onto your unit. We use the knuckles and we push down like so, okay? And then we take our bowl, and we trap our air, and we cover the dough, and we allow the dough to rest again for 30 minutes before we need to use it, okay? So this is second, the second part of our two-part video, and the next part I will show you is how to use a pasta machine, okay? Thank you.